Hello everybody. I'd like to explain about grapevine communication. Grapevine communication is an informal way of sharing news and information within an organization. Let us explore the different types of grapevine communication and its effect on an organization. The first type of grapevine communication is called the single strand chain. Here, information is passed from one person to the next in a straight line. It is commonly used to share information that is confidential. Information is passed through whispers from employee to employee and or telephonic communication. For example, suppose your manager is going to give a raise of 1000 rupees or $1000. Automatically, it passes as whispers or from employee to employee or through telephonic communication. And this is known as single strand chain communication. The next one is the gossip chain. Here, the same information, let's say 1000 as a race is being given. Here, grapevine communication involves multiple people who are all connected to each other. So they pass information like in a circle around us. For example, uh, the connected persons who are involved in this particular raising of the salary. It can also go through opinions and discussions within this particular group and it also sometimes can involve power plays let's say the raise of 1000 is not enough and it can it should be 1200 then people connected to this type of uh, communication ca can influence decisions also the next one is what you call the probability chain here the information that is passed from person to person moves but at the same time there is no clear way near cl no clear pattern to the way it flows for example it can be a sort of random outcome it is not predetermined the salary raise of 1000 can go from a to x or a to h instead of a to b to c to d so it can be very random uh, information sometimes can also be misinformation for example 1000 race can be misinformed as 1500 and the information can be sp speedy in the sense that it can travel from a to j a to x and things like that but the authenticity may not be trustworthy the next is what you call cluster chain here small groups of people who are all connected to each other form a cluster chain for the information to spread but it does not spread to other groups here the it could be through rumors it could be through restricted communication it could also be through group formation for example suppose there is a change of leadership so this could be a sort of restricted communication it might be only to a certain set of people or suppose there is a new job that is going to come this sort of communication might be very restricted sometimes it spreads as rumors that a new job is going to come and that these people are going to be interested uh, for doing the job and things like that so this is called cluster chain grapevine communication has a lot of positive effects one that the information can be spread very quickly and that it has great connectivity people feel connected with the organization and also it's unbiased communication. It's an informal way of communication leading to unbiased communication. It also has a lot of negative effects like rumors and misinformation can be spread. And there is also a violation of privacy. Sometimes these leaks could be unauthorized and they could also carry personal and confidential information. Sometimes there will also be a creation of cliques. That is, this cluster chain can sometimes create an unhealthy division between employees. How do you manage grapevine communication? The, as a manager, you have to be transparent and open with your employees. Trust and honesty is one of the best ways to prevent grapevine communication. Set clear expectations for communication. Employees should be aware of what information is confidential and what can be shared informally. Encourage employees to come to you with rumors and concerns so that you may address them properly and also monitor grapevine communication so that you can take quick action when you spot any rumors or misinformation being spread within the organization thank you very much 
don't miss out on future content like this please subscribe today and also be sure to let us know what you feel in the comments below thank you once again